All right, okay. <laughs> Secretary, now we know uh, from a new Senate report that Trump directly and repeatedly tried to pressure leer- leaders at the DOJ to overturn his election <laughs> loss based on election fraud laws. Those attempts to de- delegitimize de- pre- President Biden's win sowed enough doubt to incite the insurrection on January 6th. So how close do you think we came to a full constitutional crisis and how accountable do you think President Trump should be for that? You know, I think we not only came close to a full constitutional crisis, I think we're still in it. Yeah. Mm. And that gives me absolutely no satisfaction in saying this, because I think we're at a very dangerous, continuing, high-level attack on the legitimacy Mm -hmm. of our government Mm -hmm. and the election of our president. And obviously... Our former president uh, is not only behind it, he incited it, he encouraged it, and he continues to do so. And you have leaders of the Republican Party who have willingly gone along as though they're members of a cult, not a political party, but a cult. Mm -hmm. Uh, And their continuing attacks on the election, their refusal, refusal to say, you know what, we've counted these votes, it's over, we're going to move on, has sown so much doubt. And then you combine it with the disinformation network known as Facebook, and you've got a volatile mix. So, yeah, we are still in the midst of a concerted, well-funded effort to undermine uh, American democracy. Mm. 